As you might have noticed, I really love this uh, Outcast. And I, uh, the orange body finally came out. And I basically custom painted it. And when I uh, was cleaning up the over spray, I a little bit of orange came off with the rubbing alcohol I was using. So they did paint on the outside to get that matte the finish. The video today is not about this body. This video is about something I've been work brainstorming for the last. I don't know, three, four months. And uh, I think I've figured it out. I've got some uh, steering turnbuckles in here mounted to the uh, center tower. And I've also got just a little spacer to give it some support. I want to see what this can do. So we've got two um, wheelie bars mounted up here and you're probably wondering, how's that not gonna snap? Well, inside, inside there's a carbon fiber plate here, here, and here. And this carbon fiber plate actually acts as just kind of a little pusher cushion buffer it sits right on top of that tower now the cool thing is the only thing you have to do is put those two turnbuckles essentially put two screws in we'll go give it a run Turn the fan. Yeah, some long screws though. Fan, fan. Okay, got a wheelie bar. Let's see how this works.
notice this will move slightly. But now you can get up from I think I just rip, rip my pinion off. Rip the pinion off. But this is still holding well. Because I, I need to take these two bolts off. But. I heard that pinion either strip or um, come loose. But, stayed intact. You can flip back over. And it saves your roof. I'm an outcast. Sweet little invention. Carl, Track 13 News, that's how we are see. All right, should we see what happened out there? You know, I, as, as I tried to uh, rock it back and forth in the grass uh, for way too long, and it sounded like the pinion came loose or just stripped completely. I was a little rough on that. And to be honest, I haven't checked that pinion since I bought this thing. Now this uh, Outcast is a tire ripper. I've ripped a pair of the stock ones, you know, the boots, backflips after three bashing sessions iMax, I ripped those. These are DeBoots backflips. I triple glued them on top of the factory. So, do we have any breakage? So, essentially, You've got a gap here with this car carbon fiber. Acts as a little dampener. So I've got a place here, plate there. Also, a plate that I made these a little long so that this plate would butt up against it. So really, plate, plate, back plate there and then the two turnbuckles which are just mounted on this tower yeah 
that has 16T and now it's basically a nub. There's like no gears on it whatsoever. So, case in point, don't treat your RC like crap. So, I don't know if anybody appreciates that, thinks it's cool. Um, maybe you think it's stupid. I actually think it'll save your body. So, since that mount, those uh, turnbuckles are out, it's pivoting a lot. But with them in there and uh, some screws running across there, it actually restricts the movement. Long screws everywhere. Lengthen the screws everywhere. Two millimeter carbon fiber. Obviously I had to cut holes for this. And really me ripping the pinion was my own fault. So anyway, I don't, I basically hodgepodge this thing, brainstormed it for the last three, four months. Finally got something to work. Um, and initial test was a smashing success, actually opinion ripping success. But I mean, it it took the rolls, worked better than I had hoped. Um, this body was already trashed. Um, I think we got some nosers, so. I don't know, in fact, this is a little carbon fiber from the hobby store. I think it's like three millimeters, just like a little strip. Uh, and it's just the compressed stuff, so it's cheap. But essentially I CA glued it right here on the tip. And this body has, you know, retained uh, a lot better. I actually, and then I put one here and here, the middle one ripped off. Um, I did sp spray rubber, uh, liquid rubber, flex seal, and then added a little drywall tape in the back. But essentially that's, that's it to reinforce this body. This body, I was doing wall rides, all sorts of crazy stuff. But it's, I had a little crack in the back, so I cut it out. Um, and you know, I have scrapes, but this thing is held up great. That's why I wanted to try this um, roof wheel, really bar, because the body is really tough. It may get scratches, but it is solid. So I appreciate your support. Um, if you wouldn't mind, subscribe, like, share.